Hello, my name is Deidre Elam and I'm the Griffin High School Parent Liaison. I would like to welcome you to our presentation entitled, All Hands on Deck, Tips and Strategies to Engage High School Families. During this presentation, I will share tips and strategies used by GHS to build parent capacity. The griffin Spalding County School System is located in the west central portion of the state of Georgia. It is the 37th largest district in the state, educating 10,353 scholars on 18 campuses, all of which are Title I schools. The mission of the griffin Spalding County School System is to empower students to graduate college and career ready. The vision of the griffin Spalding County School System is to be an agent of change transforming our students into future ready learners and contributing members of society. The four points of call for parent engagement includes communication, partnerships between the school and families, events, and the coordination and integration of parent engagement programs and activities. Griffin High School communicates with our families in multiple ways. We use our school parent compact to inform our families of the ways that we will communicate about their scholars learning. We share information about our school and upcoming engaging events via our school's website. We also share information with our families via our monthly newsletters, also informing them of upcoming events, information about meetings that were held, as well as tips and websites that families can use to assist their scholars. We also share recorded activities, meetings, and workshops via our GHS YouTube channel. Parents are also informed via automated phone calls and emails and via our social media platforms. This slide shows you a screenshot of our GHS monthly newsletter, which is published in English and Spanish. Our monthly newsletters are posted monthly and parents are informed via automated calls and emails. A paper copy of the newsletter is also sent home with our scholars for parent review, and copies are placed in the main office and the Parent Resource Center. This slide also shows you a screenshot of our GHS School Parent Compact, which is shared with all of our families. Our School Parent Compact is shared during open house and all other meetings and workshops. It is also included in our new student orientation packets. This slide shows you a screenshot of the GHS School website, which includes our Parents tab. Families are able to click on the Parents tab and find important information, as well as parent engagement resources. This slide also shows you a screenshot of our GHS YouTube channel that parents can access to view all recorded activities from workshops and meetings. The partnership between school and families is important. Griffin High School uses the distribution of our fall and spring parent surveys to engage our families to provide and share feedback about programs and activities offered. In an effort to reach all of our families, we provide documents in multiple languages. We offer free resources via our Parent Resource Center. We also provide childcare and transportation to our parent workshops and meetings in order to decrease barriers for our families. Additionally, we afford our parents the opportunity to co-present in meetings and during community events. These opportunities allow them to share tips and resources that have helped their scholars to be successful. This slide shows you a screenshot of our fall community event, which included a partnership with the Salvation Army of Griffin. During this event, Kenya Fuller, our GHS parent representative, and I shared literacy resources from our Parent Resource Center that families could use at home to engage and help their scholar. This slide shows you a screenshot of our spring community event, which included a partnership with the New Birth Fellowship of Praise Ministry. During the Community of Believers community event, Melinda Owens, the Griffin Spalding County School Systems Family and Community Engagement Specialist, and I shared math tip resources from the GHS Parent Resource Center and the District Parent Resource Center. These resources shared were shared as a result of our fall parent survey result in which families felt they needed the most tips and strategies for math. This slide shows you a screenshot of the English and Spanish version of our spring parent survey, 
which allows us to evaluate our programs and activities offered to our families during each school year. In addition to communicating with our families via automated phone calls and emails, as well as our monthly newsletters and our social media platforms, we utilize our school calendar on the Griffin High School website to keep our families up to date with opportunities to engage and partner with our school. We coordinate and integrate parent engagement programs and activities by providing free resources via our Parent Resource Center, as well as partner with other programs to share resources to our families. We also plan and evaluate our programs and activities by administering our fall and spring parent surveys. Additionally, we distribute age-appropriate transition materials twice a year. In the fall, we provide transition material to our new freshman scholars to help them as they enter high school. And in the spring, we provide transition material to our seniors as they transition from high school to college or the workforce. GHS builds parent capacity by providing workshops that will educate parents and give them resources to support their scholars' education. We also provide a parent resource center that parents can visit to obtain free resources and materials. We also provide staff trainings that train staff on the development of homework and assignments that allow and encourage parent support. We also develop links that provide families with resources and materials that are easily accessible that assist and provide information and strategies. We also invite community partners to participate in workshops in an effort to share resources and information with our families. This slide shows you a screenshot of flyers that are shared to inform families of upcoming events. There are meetings that include open topics which are based on survey data and feedback from events. Two sample topics based on survey data and feedback from events includes All Hands on Deck, Math Skill Tips for Parents, and Helping Your Student with Homework, a Parents Guide. Additionally, we also coordinate with other programs in our school and community organizations in order to provide any and all requested resources. And now Melinda Owens, our District's Family and Community Engagement Specialist, will share additional parent engagement tips with you. Hi, my name is Melinda Owens, and I'm the Family and Community Engagement Specialist for the Griffin Spalding County School System. A portion of this presentation will focus on how we engage our secondary English learners EL families. As stated in section 1112 E3C, we must provide evidence of effective means of outreach to our parents of ELs. We have to make sure we inform parents regarding how the parents can be involved in the education of their children and be active participants in assisting their child to obtain English proficiency, achieve at high levels within a well-rounded education, and how to meet the challenging state academic standards expected of all students. For the third year in a row, we partner with Title III to offer EL Family Nights. This year, we will continue with the same two purposes. One purpose is to teach English so parents could better communicate with the school staff. Included in this slide is a list of some of the English class learning objectives. These events also help the district to provide evidence that supports Shell 6 other reasonable support for family engagement activities as parents may request. The other purpose was to build the EL family's capacity. We use the Godot checklist for building capacity of parents to use as a blueprint of what we needed to provide for families. We focused on shell one, two, four, five and six. The intent was to make sure we set aside opportunities for EL families only. On the left side of this slide, it shows a screenshot of the Godot checklist for building capacity of parents for one of the EL family nights. On the right side of the slide is a picture of the, the district title three 
ESOL Parent Liaison and Interpreter. For this school year, we have added AM sessions and we'll be inviting district departments such as Nutrition, Project Aware, and Parent Services to share resources and answer any questions our EL families may have. We are excited about these opportunities for our EL families. On this slide, you see the great participation we had for our EL Family Nights. The next slide shows you a resource table that was set up for our EL Family Nights. We included English and Spanish documents. At one of the visits, the EL families took a tour of the Parent Resource Center. They were able to check out free resources and they could use those resources at home to promote academic achievement. EL families were also able to share what resources they needed. As we all know, there are barriers for engagement, but in the Griffin Spalding County School System, we do our very best to decrease the barriers of engagement by offering light refreshments, childcare, transportation, and translated documents in the format and language parents can understand. This is a picture of the first EL graduation class. These parents were able to attend all of the 10 two-hour sessions and they were also able to pass the speaking English quiz. This was a huge success for them in our district. The next few slides will focus on how we use the Godot checklist for input and distribution. These two checklists are great resources for districts and schools to use. They are an excellent way to provide evidence of multiple input opportunities for our stakeholders. We use these methods in the parent engagement calendar that we provide to schools as a guide. This slide shows the multiple ways for input. We created a feedback form for our stakeholders to give us input on the school parent compact, district and school parent and family engagement policies, building staff capacity, parent engagement funds, district and school comprehensive needs assessment, and district and school improvement plans. Each school in the district is required to post the link on their social media site, on their school website, in their monthly newsletters, and send the link out through our automated parent link email. Paper copies are all also required to be placed in the school and district offices and in the parent resource centers. We also have our AM and PM stakeholder meetings. We want to make sure the external stakeholders have multiple opportunities to provide us with feedback. We know that life happens and sometimes families cannot attend a meeting or an event. To help provide multiple ways to engage families, each school in the district has to send the monthly newsletter home in the parent's primary language, post the English and Spanish newsletters for each month on the school website, share those newsletters through the automated parent link email, and place them in the office and parent resource center. Each year on our fall parent survey, we ask, would availability of the following aid you in participating in a parent workshop or program? Almost 50% of our parents consistently state that access to information online would help. So we require the parent liaisons to share information that parents may have missed if they were not able to attend. They have an option to share it on their social media site or on the school website. 